My goodness, thank you. Well, it's been an active week. Uh, this past week, we met with some solar people who want to do a utility scale solar in the Mechanicsville area to start with, maybe again in the Hollywood area, and maybe some more in our uh, landfills have been capped. Uh, solar is the way of the future. It's uh, interesting that the technology has come so far that they're actually able to make it very cost effective. And look, it's the future. We got mandates to have uh, solar. I think Smetco's allocation is 2.5%. By 2030, that's not far away, and uh, good news is it's going on. Secondly, I uh, went to the Ridge Carnival Saturday night. Had my three grandchildren, my three granddaughters, and my daughter and my wife. Wonderful time. And it had a great crowd, a lot going on. Lord knows we, we ate crab cakes, pizza, uh, funnel cakes, popcorn, ice cream, french fries, Lord knows. and. Uh, Funny thing was, we bought those bands. I didn't go, of course. My granddaughters bought those bands that they could go on the rides as many times as they want. Worked very well until my, uh, my, the one time they went around the swings one too many times, my granddaughter says, I don't feel too good. <laughs> but it was a great time. And uh, thank God for the volunteers and everybody down there in Ridge. Great carnival. Uh, secondly, thirdly, is St. George's Episcopal Church. They held what was called the Music from Poplar Hill, the Joe Ricks music series. Very interesting. We were invited by a, a Jeff Clark. He's the spouse of the late Joe Ricks, and Marianna Nork. And it was amazing the amount, the quality of the music. And there was a good crowd, but they need a bigger venue. I think that uh, with a bigger venue, they do a lot better. So thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Marianna. And that was a nice event. Um, this week coming up, it's going to be the county fair. Look, it's one of our traditions. Got to go. It's one of the things we're getting back to normal. Granted, wear a mask if you have to wear a mask. But hopefully you've been vaccinated. And if you've been vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. But a mask is your choice. So please do what you're going to do. Now, lastly, um, a memory came up on my uh, Facebook page yesterday about Great Mills High School from 1997. And it was kind of interesting that 25 years ago, uh, there was the first elected school board in St. Mary's County in over 100 years. One of the people, Mary Washington, is still on that school board to this day. She's done so many terms, and she's done a wonderful job. But back then, we, there, I was a member of that board that was elected. And the point was, is we renovated or built seven schools. Now, during that process, we were introduced, or actually we went around and uh, I took the initiative to go to every single school, meet every principal, every faculty, because I thought it, it was important to them to know who we were and us to know who they were. But I met a wonderful woman. She was the principal of Carver Elementary, and her name was Janice Walfauer. And her sister, Alfreda uh, Mathis, she was the principal of Lexington Park Elementary. Here are these two schools right next to each other, and uh, they talked about the common challenges of sometimes uh, Someone would move and be in the Carver District and then a month later move and be in the Lexington Park District. But these two ladies were wonderful, wonderful educators, principals, uh, teachers, uh, family members. Janice Walthour turned 75 years old today. It's a great, great event, three quarters of a century. I want to say, Janice Walthour, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs>